everyone. Most of you know that I love upcycling and I have done some videos on upcycling jeans to make things like this adorable little purse or this refrigerator magnet that holds a little notepad and, and pen and this little album that I covered. And today I want to share with you an adorable journal that I made for my 13 year old niece. So let's head on over to the craft table so I can show it to you. This is a journal I made for my niece and I was in a hurry while making it and didn't even think of recording the process. So what I'm going to do right now is walk you through the process and show you what I used. I started off with this journal that I picked up at Michael's, I paid maybe a dollar or two for it. Um, it has a hundred pages in it, which is really nice. And from there, I grabbed an old pair of jeans. Um, these were my daughter's when she was little. And this is actually the section I cut off. So let me slide it down a little bit so you can see about how much of her jeans I used. This is... Uh, a child's pair so um, and what I did was I cut it the size I needed so I kind of laid it out like this and cut it leaving excess excess is fine and then I put the, this edge that's where I was gonna put on the seam so let me move on from here and show you what I did next I used um, my multi-purpose adhesive, and this is fine to use inside. It says, um, just make sure that you have adequate ventilation, which means you're not closing yourself in a, in a closet to do this, or you're not spraying a lot of things for long periods of time. But it only takes about three seconds to spray the backside of that denim. And I put it in a box so that I'm not getting spray on everything else. I have a box with the sides um, taped up. And once I did that, I put the spine right where I wanted it. And then I just lifted up the sides. You know, I laid it down and I just pressed the denim on. So the denim has been sprayed with the adhesive. And you just... You know, smooth it on. Um, you can use a squeegee if you want. You can use an old credit card or just your hands, but you smooth the denim on all over it. Okay, so now you have the denim all over it. What do you do next? I usually let it dry for a while before I trim off the edges so I don't get the, the wet adhesive on my scissors. And so what I did next was I just trimmed down the edges to where I wanted them, to the edge of the book. And see, there's the seam. Let me see if I can get it in there. That's the seam that I put on the, the binding edge. And so when you get done, your book pretty much looks like this without the trim. And so you have a nice denim cover on it. And the next thing I did was I used Fabri-Tac, which I absolutely love. And I used it to glue this trim on. And I got that trim from Creating with Details. Um, I also got these flat back pearls from Creating with Details. But I put it on. I didn't put it on the on the the spine because of the yeah the seam of the denim. But I got that put on there, and so it looked like this. And then I always cut pockets off from jeans, so. I had a pocket, had it nicely cut off, and then I started decorating the pocket. And I was still using the Fabri-Tac. And I put on an eyelet ruffle, and then over that I put on some ribbon and a bow. And then I put the flat back pearls on, and I made an H because her name is Heather. And so I kind of wanted to personalize this for her. And then still using the Fabri-Tac, I put it on the back of the pocket, all the way around the edges and even a little bit, you know, in the middle. You don't have to go crazy with it. It doesn't have to be solidly covered, but definitely solid lines around the edges. And I attached it to the front of the um, 
the journal. And the reason for that is so that she has this little pocket here. She can put in, you know, a pen, a pencil, um, a bookmark, whatever it is that she wants to put in there. And actually, I believe she has a cell phone. So the cell phone should also fit right in there. Wouldn't that be great to hold a cell phone and have your journal? So anyways, I know that this was just kind of a quick walkthrough on what I did, but it is so easy to upcycle your denim jeans. When your kids outgrow them or when you wear them out, don't throw them away. Make something really cool with it. And this would be such a great thing to make for any teenager or a child, or you can even dress it up for yourself. So... I hope you like it. It didn't really take much to do and it was quick. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this gives you some ideas. And for those of you who might have missed my other projects that were made by Upcycling Jeans, I'm going to put links below in the description box. So just right down there where it says show more, click on that and there will be links to the other videos so you can watch them as well. Happy crafting and happy upcycling everyone. Bye bye. <laughs>